All right, we got some three inch aluminum. That is eighth inch thick. It's the biggest stuff I got in the shop right now, so that's what we'll make it out of. We'll make it, uh, I don't know, about 10 inches. So yeah, about 10 inches will work. This would be a very simple catch can, just an inlet and an outlet on the top and bottom. The bottom will have like a pepcock. So that way I can drain it off. And then the top will just be a barb fitting for the hose. So we'll get indicated in and cut it down and polish it up.
Uh, now we'll go to the plasma cutter and we'll cut the uh, ends for it. Alright, got them cut out. Not very clean at all. The plasma cutter was misbehaving. There's a nasty one. Some of the problem is that plate of aluminum has a real bad bow to it. So the machine tries to bear itself into it on the on the going uphill. So a lot of that's that. And some of it too is just the way I have it uh, set up on the uh, cut path, or as far as how, it, how fast it cuts. So I do need to do some work on that, but I think they'll clean up. I did cut an extra one just in case. But setting them on the uh, deal, I do got room to machine it off. Even on that one that it really screwed up on. So I works cut the oversize. Yeah. Over size. I cut them bigger than what they needed to be, just so I had some to machine off. So I'm going to pop a hole in them so I can put it on a mandrel or turn them through. And then uh, I'm going to cut a little, uh, like, I don't know, like a rabbit cut, I guess. So that way it sets down into the pipe slightly, just so that way it locates itself. And I don't have to worry about it when I'm welding it. I can just set it in there and it shouldn't go nowhere. So we'll get that hole popped in these back on the lathe and true them up. All right, we got her set up here. I'm gonna start out by drilling. You can see that. It's a number 13 drill, which is a 185, which is roughly the same size as that mandrel there. If it fits on there, great. If not, I'll have to go up to a 3 16 which is a 1875. Hopefully that one, the 185 fits perfectly. So we'll get this knocked out. And this hole is not going to be centered. Because of how rough that is right there. It's it's the hole is going to be placed where I think I can still save the blank here. Perfect. Alright, we got her mount mounted up here. I do got it uh, sandwiched between two rubber washers and then a couple other washers and a nut just to take up the uh, space. It does still, or it can spin. I'm going to have to take really light cuts. Especially until I get through this rough part. And it does spin off center because I had to do that with the hole to try to save it. And these holes will later be enlarged for the uh, fittings and the drain on the bottom. So it's not a big deal putting that hole in. It will be taken out later. So let's see if it will turn out or not.
got the top part flipped around here. Now I'm gonna cut that little recess in it so that way it sets down the pipe a little bit just so it locates itself on the tubing or pipe, whatever you wanna call it. We'll be cutting a quarter inch in and then about 80 thousandths or so that way. There we are. Uh, back on the bridge port now to drill the drill and tap that hole for a eighth inch 27 NTP. That guy right there. Focus. Come on. Anyway, yeah, so eighth inch 27 NTP. Takes a 2164 drill. I like it when I put that on the tap, that makes it so so handy. Since we already got the hole in there, we'll just drill it straight to the 2164s.
Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Probably just hand burr that. Hand deburr that. Alright, we'll do the other one and then uh, get it all welded up.